wrote down all the good things about myself, which is really hard. Have you ever tried to do that? To just sit down and write out 10 things that are really good about yourself? This is Tina Knowles, mom to the famous Beyonce Knowles, outrightly disrespecting her husband, now ex Richard Lawson. But somehow, we can boldly fault Richard for not reading the signs earlier. Tina more or less gave all the red flags available to her, for example, when she said this. When I reconnected with Richard, he was like, Tina, why are you hiding all the time? Like, you know, it's time for you to live your own life, and it's true. Not even Richard standing by Tina during her trying times convinced her to remain respectful to her man. But oh boy, Richie did try. We must give him that. We became friends and it hung out and I supported her because she was going through a tough time with the divorce. Ultimately, the two have now officially parted ways and Richard is said to be in bad shape mentally. His only warning? Stay away from Tina, guys. But what really happened? Most importantly, how did they meet? And how has their relationship been in the past eight years? It's quite a lot to digest, but we've got you covered. So stuck around to find out more about the hottest sauce in town. Nothing came as a shock when it was reported that Tina and Richard were separating. According to court documents obtained by media outlets, Tina filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences, and listed their month of separation as July 2023. The fashion designer asked the court to terminate the court's ability to to award spousal support to her or Richard, and also ask for her name to be restored to Celestine Knowles. Here comes the bride, Beyonce was there, so was her sister, but no one seemed to care. The former couple shared eight years of marriage after exchanging vows on board a yacht in Newport Beach, California on April 12, 2015. It marked the second marriage for both Knowles and Richard, who began dating in 2013. Tina split from her previous husband, Beyonce, and Solange Knowles' father and former manager, Matthew Knowles, in 2009 after more than three decades together. They finalized their divorce in 2011. The mom of two showcased their wedding day in an Instagram post on their third wedding anniversary by sharing a photo from the special occasion and writing, cannot believe it has been three years since we did the damn thing, walking on air, I love you with my whole being and you feed my soul, happy anniversary baby. But things have now gone south pretty fast. The fashion designer spoke about their relationship during an appearance on the Tamron Hall show last April. I cannot imagine you being afraid of anything. I've watched you over the years and reinvent yourself time and time again. You were, tell me about you as, as somebody afraid of... I've known Richard for 40 years, and when we reconnected, it was just, I, I felt like a gift from God, she said. I really mean that because I prayed. After I went through a divorce, it was pretty devastating after 33 years, and I always planned on, if it was in God's plan, to get married again because I like being married. I like being in a relationship. Before things fell apart, Richard also had nothing but praise for Tina. The All My Children actor recalled the moment that his late sister Gwen introduced him to the fashion designer. I thought you were one of the most beautiful women I had ever met. Breathtaking. The thing that was so striking was that your beauty continued to be enhanced by your incredible heart, compassion, empathy, generosity, and philanthropy, he captioned a photo from their wedding on Instagram. Richard added that at the time Tina was married and pregnant with Beyonce, his desire for her could only live in my fantasy. It took 32 years for my attraction for you to come full circle. It was well worth the wait, he wrote. You're a revolutionary, visionary, incredible artist, a fashion icon, a leader, a cultural beacon, a hot <laughs> ratchet god warrior and only second to God, you are my wife. How highly favored am I? While Richard may now be going through his second divorce, Matthew, Tina's first husband, knows one too many about his ex-wife, and some details reveal just how evil the mother of two can be. Tina and Matthew met in Houston in the mid-70s. Matthew had recently graduated from Fisk University in Nashville with a degree in business administration and economics, and Tina had gone to junior college and was working in sales at the time, according to the Houston Chronicle. Shortly after meeting, they tied the knot in 1980. One year after they wed, the couple welcomed their older daughter, Beyonce. Five years later, Solange joined the family in 1986. Matthew and Tina nurtured their children's musical gifts from a young age. 
In April 2023, Matthew opened up about raising his daughters on Instagram, sharing a sweet throwback photo of Beyonce and Solange. When Beyonce and Solange showed an interest in music at a very young age, Tina and I, who were already corporate professionals and entrepreneurs, didn't attempt to downplay their passions, he wrote in the caption. Rather, we encouraged them, we guided them, we supported them. As long as they took it seriously and strived to be the best they could, we were happy with whatever career path they chose. In an episode of the podcast In My Head with Heather Thompson, Tina shared the origin story of her older daughter's moniker. Mm -hmm. Yes, my maiden name. I thought everybody knew that. I'm the original uh, Beyonce. A lot of people don't know that Beyonce is my last name. It's my maiden name, she said. My name was Celestine Beyonce, which at that time was not a cool thing to have that weird name. I wanted my name to be Linda Smith because those were the cool names. Matthew and Tina were married for 30 years before they announced their decision to divorce in 2011. At the time, both parties remained mum about what caused the split. But with Richard's case, it is becoming clearer who is to blame for all the breakups. Following their 2011 separation, the former couple released a statement to the Associated Press regarding the split that read, the decision to end our marriage is an amicable one. We remain friends, parents, and business partners. Then, in 2013, Matthew married former model Gina Charmaine Avery in Houston, Texas. Two years later, in April 2015, Tina married actor Richard Lawson in Newport, California. The wedding was small and the couple exchanged vows on board a 140 feti, yacht with Solange, Beyonce, Jay-Z, and then three-year-old Blue Ivy in attendance. According to Tina, her granddaughter actually inspired her to take a major step in her relationship. In September, we went on a boat with Beyonce and Jay-Z for her birthday. And when we came out one night dressed to go to dinner, Blue said, Oh, y'all look beautiful. When are y'all getting married? Tina revealed. Richard said, Oh, Blue soon. Do you approve? And she said, Yes. That's the first time we talked seriously about getting married. It is alleged that Matthew felt Tina was a control freak who wanted everything for herself. In 1990, Matthew co-founded Destiny's Child, originally called Girls' Time, in Houston, which consisted of Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, Latavia Roberson, and Latoya Luckett. In 1997, they were signed to Columbia Records as Destiny's Child and took on their most famous lineup of Beyonce, Rowland, and Michelle Williams. I have always thought that Destiny's Child would be the very best female group in the history of music, and that they are. The group had tremendous success, earning several Grammy nominations and two wins for hits like Survivor and Say My Name. Matthew served as their manager until they disbanded in 2006, and he also managed the solo careers of Roland, Williams, and his daughter. In a May 2023 interview with Entertainment Tonight, Matthew said he would love to see Destiny's Child reunite. It's a decision that the ladies would have to make, he said, and I would certainly, certainly support that decision as I still manage Destiny's Child. I would love to see that as well. Hopefully they do one last time in their career, he added. Sources close to the group allege that Tina incited her daughter to leave the group, thus causing the downfall. In fact, it is also rumored that she convinced Beyonce to drop her father as manager right after Tina and Matthew started their divorce proceedings. In short, Tina wanted to keep Beyonce for herself despite Matthew being the man behind her success. Queen Bey was just a teenager when she first rose to fame with Destiny's Child in the late 90s, and Matthew served as her manager until 2011 when he stepped down from the role following pressure from both her daughter Jay-Z and Tina. I am grateful for everything he has taught me. Beyonce said in a statement about the decision. I grew up watching both he and my mother manage and own their own businesses. They were hardworking entrepreneurs, and I will continue to follow in their footsteps. She added of Matthew, he is my father for life and I love my dad dearly. I am grateful for everything he has taught me. Business is business and family is family, Matthew said in a separate statement about the change. I love my daughter and am very proud of who she is and all that she has achieved. I look forward to her continued great success. And now Richard Lawson's life is pretty much ruined just like that, all thanks to Tina. Just around the same time his divorce from Tina emerged, the veteran actor started getting a side eye from folks on Twitter after they discovered a series of NSFW tweets in his likes. As you may or may not be aware, on the app, likes are not hidden and available to see from any user's profile page. Unfortunately for Richard, as the news of his divorce began circulating online, some people on Twitter found his official Twitter page and found the shock of the day when they discovered several explicit videos in his likes section.
Now, sources close to him believe this is Tina's doing as she wants to completely and entirely discredit Richie. Naturally, upon this discovery, he became the talk of the timeline, with many expressing their shock and dismay. One such fan tweeted, Hey, uh, you know your Twitter likes are public, right? Richard Lawson added a funny clip of actor Idris Elba choking on laughter. A second fan wrote, The people I follow are saying Richard Lawson's likes are filthy, so I definitely do not need to see them for myself. One user succinctly summed up everyone's incredulity, writing online, I what Richard Lawson was on. The Daily Show comedian and correspondent Roy Wood Jr. even joined in on the tweets, attempting to make light of the situation. It's late enough in the evening, airplay them Richard Lawson likes to the TV and set the mood. Richard's account has since been deactivated, and it appears Tina is winning. As mentioned earlier, this NSFW debacle came shortly after it was announced that he and Tina Knowles were divorcing after eight years of marriage, so it's hard not to connect the two incidents. Additionally, the divorce motion came two weeks after the former couple home was burglarized in Los Angeles. In early July, TMZ reported that the burglars came away with more than $1 million in stolen cash and jewelry. However, Tina was not in her home at the time of the robbery. It also said that Richard got tired of all the drama surrounding the Knowles family, from sacrifice conspiracies to Solange fighting Jay-Z and reports of Jay-Z drugging Beyonce, just an endless list of goosebumps evoking things. So there is so much going on, and while we all all await to hear what Richard has to say, it will be interesting to see what plays out next. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.